Welcome and thanks for joining 2K Sports for a Friday night full of NBA action. This is Brian Anderson, joined courtside by Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg. Our reporter tonight, Ali LaForce, hits the Chicago Bulls, take it on the Washington Wizards. And it's going to be the Bulls off the tip. So let's take a look at the Chicago Bulls starting lineup. Rose up top. Pass to Pippen. Shot clock at six. From deep, Jordan knocks down the triple. Jordan really confident rising up from deep. When he's in rhythm, he sinks these outside jumpers. Here's Arenas, guarded by Rose. He got a piece of it. There's a killer two hand slams. A flash of that athleticism yet again. It's clear Rose enjoys getting up and punching it down. Here's Arenas, guarded by Rose. Beal outside. And it's stolen by Rose. And a fast break now for the Bulls. Shoots over Beal. And the Bulls get it back. Rodman tries again. Missed it. Now 0 for 1 on this game. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. Pass to Arenas. Hayes with it. To the middle. Clock at 6. And then Beal with the dunk. One of the most desired trade targets in the league. Seemingly every year, Beal is just a baller. Jordan with the bucket. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. And you know what? They're going to keep using him. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Now here's Beal. Butler finds Hayes. Back to Butler. That shot off the mark. Now Chicago takes it the other way. To the paint. Back to Jordan. The shot. Again, the full score. Jordan getting quickly into the shot. No hesitation. Supreme confidence shooting off the pass. Deal outside. This one for three. Hits the three-pointer. Beal's got five points. Don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. Chicago leading. Pass to Pippen. Second shot opportunity. Blocked. And they recover it. Groves can't connect. Good shot. Gone bad. Gotta finish there. Beal with it. Covered by Jordan. Here's Arenas. Off target from three-point range. And here's Jordan. He has seven. Pass to Pippen from behind the arc. And again, it's Chicago with a three. Yeah, and Jordan sees the floor so nicely. I mean, one of his guys has a clean look. He gets the ball to him in whip-like fashion. Now here's Beal. Five points in the game. Blocked! Deal against Jordan. Now here's Rose. Jordan goes in and slam dunk by Jordan. Hey, when Jordan is cutting to the cup, he's locked in on throwing it down. The D doesn't have a chance at denying him that chance. Washington trailing. Now a timeout called by Washington. Failing to find a rhythm offensively. Something that needs to change and change soon. And I think this timeout, guys, is where you draw up some plays that are guaranteed to create some high percentage shots.
Here's Hayes. Boy, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Here's Beal. Rebound by the Bulls. Here's Pippen. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Beal outside. Pass to Arenas. And another miss by Washington. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Now here's Jordan. Nine points in the game. Down to five on the shot clock. Down low. And down it goes. Dumped it through off a beautiful setup. They've shown so much energy right from the start, particularly on the offensive end. Tell you what, forget about easing into the game. They came out with punt blazing. Pass to Beal. And he lobs it up to the rim. Up high and down it goes on the lob. Slick feed by Beal, taking advantage of the hole in the defense to set up a wide open man. Rose finds Jordan. Poke loose. Covered by Jordan. Pass to Arenas. Count it. And that shot gets him in the books. He's one for three. Watch out now when this guy gets into a rhythm. It is something to behold. Rose, the pass to Jordan. Rose outside. Pounded by Beal. Three-pointer. And again, it's there Chicago it with a three. And this defense needs to turn the screws and ramp up the intensity. They're looking a little loose out there right now. Yeah, they've got to do a little more to disrupt their offensive rhythm, too. Beal, the pass to Hayes. Outside Butler. Five to shoot. The Wizards need to get off a shot here. Here's Arenas. No good from outside. He got his defender off his feet with a pump fake, but couldn't knock it down. Already plus five in terms of rebound margin. Pretty clear they're dominating that area. They've come out with a lot more energy and effort so far. Now here's Rose. He's got five. No coverage that time. Timeout, timeout. And it's a 12-point Bulls lead. The big story thus far, how well they've Time shot the rock. Very high percentage so far. And if you want to start a game hot, that's the way to do it. Now a timeout called by Washington. And the Bulls making a change here. Love's checked in. And the Wizards with possession here. Here's Monroe over Jordan. Rebounded by Pippen. Here's Monroe. Fires at the elbow. Nope, another miss. 0 for 2 to start the game. They absolutely want to add to what's already a big lead. No question, B.A. No reason to let up. Just keep playing your game. So far, they're owning both ends of the floor. We'll see if they can keep this going. And, you know, nothing like getting an opponent on the ropes early. You love that if you're on that side of the scoreboard. And they are landing some haymakers now. I like the play call. Very solid. Making perfect use of the pick to get a great look. Pass to Pippen. Back to Rose. Ball with the defensive effort. That's going up against a defense that knows your tendencies. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Well, that's an easy pass for John Wall to make. As soon as he spots his teammate wide open, he's dropping that dime on time and on target. Now here's Jordan. Nine points in the game. Rose finds Jordan. And there's the lob. <laughs> and the lead increases on a crazy offensive sequence. Man, the dunk alone would have been incredible, let alone the fact that it came off a pinpoint pass. 
Well, I tell you what, they've got this team just a step away from being completely sleep. And so here is Chicago. Ten-point lead. Now Rose. Jordan with it. Pulls up at the elbow. The rebound by Malone. <laughs> the way they've gotten after rebounds has been impressive. Yeah, sensational is a really good word for it. They're tearing it up on the glass. Pass to Monroe. Four on the clock. Going inside. And with that one, the deficit trimmed to single digits. So cool to see Ansel finish through contact. And showing great strength. He's really a strong guy. Not letting the defense muscle him around at all. Now here's Rose. He's looking good. Two buckets and three attempts. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. You know, the defense has really been kept off balance because of the outstanding pass. Four straight field goals have been made off an assist. Monroe misses. Jordan against Wall. And slam dunk by Jordan. And Scotty Pippen so good at surveying the floor. Like seeing him find the open man with those sweet dishes. 152 left in the first. Outside Butler. And there's the rejection. And up the court come the Bulls on the break from deep Jordan. And again, it's the Bulls from deep. Three-point field goal. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for the Bulls. Guys, it's been great hustle defense throughout two quarters of play. Contesting everything and racking up the block shots as well. Another big aspect of their game tonight has been the fast break, transition opportunity. They're really keeping it up tempo so far. Playing from behind, it's amazing he chose a dunk with that high a difficulty rating. Yeah, no question. That was a stellar move with plenty of swagger. I don't care what the score is there, fellas. That's the play we'll remember from this game, clearly. On the AT&T 5G Slam Cam, good looks by our terrific camera crew. And slam dunk by Jordan. Efficiency personified there. Jordan scoring at will, taking over the game whenever he chooses. 51 seconds left in the opening quarter. Covered by Love. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. I don't mind that. I mean, they met him at the rim and temporarily prevented the point. Old school D right there. Just telling them no easy layups. It's as simple as that. And that's what you expect from them. Shoot two. And he makes the first. So Chicago ends up going with a new group. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Fantastic ball movement for them tonight. If things are definitely working offensively, a balanced attack is just so much harder to defend. Armstrong, no good. So it's Washington now, trailing by 13. Noah grabs the board. 20 seconds left in the opening quarter. Outside Butler. One second left. That misses. Would have counted had it gone. And so it's the Chicago Bulls in a good situation, up by 13 points to close the quarter. We hear teams talk about wanting to get the ball inside, but this is how you do it. And don't go far. We'll be right back. Welcome back, folks, for 
more Eastern Conference semifinal action. And a comfortable margin for the Bulls here, guys. Well, it seems like they went in looking to do damage from long range, and they faced little resistance. And you know what? That's what happens when you establish your three-point game early. Puts the defense right up against you. Here's Malone. The fadeaway. Here's Jamison. Ranked it in off the glass. Second chance points are always painful. Have to make the effort to box out. Hey, guys standing around spectating. I mean, you got to get in there and get tough. On the court right now, second quarter for the Bulls. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. Oh, you could feel the playoff intensity in that block. He's playing some extra aggressive defense out there. Here's Chenier, right side wall. Pass to Jamison. Here's Wall. Six to shoot. Here's Monroe. It's tipped. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. And what I like about it, it's been a physical brand of basketball. It's had a little sandpaper element to it. Gritty and rough, but that's how you win games. Here's Malone. The shot, no good. So the Bulls will take it the other way. To the inside. Fires the three. Here's Noah. Man, a foul Here's called foul. on the way up. Mark so he'll take two foul. from the free throw line. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Shooting for Chicago. Joachim Noah at the line for two. First free throw is good. No good on the second free throw. And it's Wizards ball. It's a 14 point game. Here's Chenier. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Second quarter of play with around two minutes gone so far. Knocks it down from distance. And just totally relentless. Only increasing the intensity level. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming. Attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. Here's Chenier. And here's Hayes. Pass to Jamison. From deep three-point range. And out of bounds. Out of bounds. It'll be Chicago ball. Chicago ball. Goal substitution. Dennis Rodman. Smooth sailing for Chicago. They've only given up two points this quarter. Here's Armstrong. Off target from outside. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Arenas with the bucket. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point-blank range. Pass to Butler. And now about three minutes gone in the second quarter here. Here's Armstrong. Nails it from three. Armstrong. And Chicago leads by 18. Backing up that last three with another three. The defense has to stop giving them so many clean looks. Here's Jamison. 
Hayes inside. And he gets the bucket. Boy, the size and strength of Hayes. I mean, love seeing him get into position and score down low. And almost four minutes gone in the second quarter of play. Pass to Noah. Pulls it from the top of the key. And he wills that one in. Sinking it right through the back of the iron. Boy, I tell you, for a big guy, the passing skills of Noah. Impressive. Awesome at getting the ball over to the open man. And here's Beal. Misses the three. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. You just missed it. Here's Butler. And Chicago Getting again with a bucket. Shrugging off the defense with relative ease. Butler doesn't allow them to get into his head or body for that matter. Razor sharp focus and concentration. Here's Arenas. Noah grabs the board. Well, you will not see that from him very often, especially right at the rim. And it's Butler Getting with the jam. That's just a smart, wily drive by Butler cutting past the defense to get a high percentage look. Here's Chenier. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Arenas with the bucket. Could have been much better defense. I mean, you can't give this guy any room to operate. Here's Armstrong. Inside. Here's Noah, and it's flushed down. A nice jam. Assisted. They've been the more poised team tonight, and the score reflects that. Well, I like the way they're playing. A very smart first half. Quality shots, not wasting possessions. Here's Arenas. Seven points in the game. And he's going for the lob. And finished off by Hayes. <laughs> and how sweet was that play? Ten-point pass set up the alley-oop flush. Guys, I tell you, there are assists. And then there are delicious dimes. This was the last. The rebound by the Wizards. Here's Jamison to the middle. And finished off by Hayes. He just rises up and throws it down hard with one hand. That is such a go-to move for him. He holds nothing back on those. Does it as well as anybody, fellas. Tremendous skill while in the air. And here are the Bulls now. Following the bucket by the Wizards. Butler. And that makes him three for four. He's looking good. He's finally leaving that dismal first quarter behind him. Took him a while to get going. The ball's knocked loose. Butler on the wing. Jacks up a three. And a Hits the Bulls from deep. No misses for him yet in this quarter. Solid as a rock. Here's Chenier. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Beal outside. The three is up. Rodman with a rebound. Hey, you know, I like the competitive spirit, but when you look at it, I think he rushed that three a little bit because he was trying to get back at his opponent. Here's Armstrong. Back to Butler. Three-pointer. And no good. So it's Washington now. Pass to Chenier. Now here's Hayes. Not a lot of room. Yep, that one goes. Hayes has got eight here in this quarter. Plays like that, so easy for him. Here's Armstrong. Timeout called here. Chicago decides to talk it over. All right. Coming out of the court, make the noise for your wizard answer. Puts it up off the inbound. There's the block. Here's Butler. And it's Butler with the jam. 
<laughs> that was nasty. A two-hand mega slam. Man, I don't think anyone was going to stop him there. Well, guys, I'm glad they didn't try because I don't want anybody to get hurt out there. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Hard not to respect how tough Jordan is inside. Really good at angling his body to pick up the foul call. Taking two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Well, when you watch MJ, Michael Jordan, the championship mentality is obvious. He gives his team everything he has to win games and then some. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. I love it. In attack mode. Drawing foul calls this quarter and getting to the free throw line. My kind of hoop. Straight ahead, playing downhill and physical. Here's Arenas. Seven points in the game. Six on the shot clock. Good D by Rose. Chicago with the ball. Jordan, the pass to Rose. Back to Jordan. Pass to Rodman. Now here's Rose. Fades. They get the rebound. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. Guys, that's putting it mildly. I mean, they've been absolutely dominant. He's trying to will this team back into it, doing all he can offensively. Rose outside. And he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. And one move ahead of the defense. A solid pick. And then the monster dunk to complete the play. Well done. Boy, picture perfect teamwork that time, guys. One guy sacrificing for the other. That's how you succeed in this league. Here's Arenas. It's deflected. Respect the reach of Gilmore because it's extensive. Makes blocking shots look really easy. I tell you what, it's, it reminds me of one of my college coaches who used to say, that ain't going to get it done. That's five straight baskets in the paint now. Down low. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That's his first personal foul. Third team foul. Shooting for Chicago. Artis Gilmore. Two shots. First one falls. Artis Gilmore is just a massive guy and strong too. I mean, rugged, a center that is flat out a beast on both ends of the floor. Banged my head against that dude many a time. It was not fun. The Bulls making a switch here. Love's checked in. Hits both from the stripe. Now here's Wall. Covered by Love. Pass to Monroe. The reverse. And yep, it's good. He's got 10. That's 10 straight points they've given up in the painted area. Huh. And you know, it doesn't matter how good your defense is on the perimeter if you're going to allow easy ones inside like that. Now here's Rose. He's got 11. To the paint. Here's Monroe. The shot off that time. Some solid defense from Jordan. Not his best night and not the team's best night. Sometimes it just goes that way. Good on the bucket. Rose has got four points in the quarter. 
Boy, anytime you're a guard like Rose and you can hit the boards like that, coaches love it. Here's Wall. After the basket by Chicago. And they pick up two. And you know, coaches will take possessions like that all day long. Phenomenal use of the screen there. Now Jordan. 18 points for him. From deep, Rose. Book it again. Seven for 12 and going at the defense. Boy, he's been a rock of offensive support so far. And when they've needed a basket, they've turned to him. To the inside. And it's blocked. And they'll get another chance. Here's Wall. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Wall figures out ways to draw fouls and turn those into points. He is a dynamic point guard. At the line for two. Shooting two. And that one falls for Wall. Well, there's no denying it. When Wall is healthy, he is still a major threat in this league. I mean, he's lightning quick as a point guard, and he has tremendous defensive instincts. And so Wall nails them both. There's 45 seconds left in the first half. Jordan with it. He's got 18. From the high post. He can't get that one to fall. And Washington the other way now. Outside Butler. Tipped. If they take their time, this will be the final possession of the quarter. Yeah, they've got to hold for the last shot here. And here's Love. Shoots over Wall. And counted from 12 feet. He really hooked the defender with that pump fake. It worked to perfection. And so it's the Chicago Bulls with plenty of breathing room. 23 points to end the quarter. Their efficiency has been off the charts. They're running their sets well with patience and purpose. More NBA on 2K Sports right after this. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And guys, for the Bulls, boy, have they ever started this series off on the right foot. They've thrown down the gauntlet here in Game 1 with their intensity and effectiveness on both ends of the floor. Now, they've got a little bit of an intimidation factor going into the second half. And Kenny, what did you think about what you saw from Chicago? What a true demonstration of dominance. They made a commitment to owning the glass, and they made good on it. Blocking out, competing hard in traffic, that's the way you should play on both ends of the court. Jack, what was your takeaway on Washington? They're getting abused in the paint defensively, letting their opponents set the tone. Can't match up physically, you're toast. That's what the scoreboard is reflecting right now. Toast with butter. Back into it here in game one. Here's Arenas, guarded by Rose. Here's Beal. Rodman with a rebound. And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. Yeah, double-digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. And for the Bulls, now here's Butler. Takes a 13-footer, and he was Bulls fouled down. while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. At the line for Washington. 
That's good from Butler. Butler hits them both. Here's Jordan. Steps back and drains the jumper. Jordan's got 20 points. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. And you know that's how it goes with him. I mean, his hot streaks, guys, don't last minutes. They last days. Artis Gilmore. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for the Wizards. Gilmore. Arena. At the line. First one falls for him. Arenas, boy, I tell you, is one of the most confident and explosive scorers in the game. A shoot-first point guard who will let it fly at any time and do real damage with the ball in his hands. Good on both. And a minute played as the second half gets going. Now here's Rose. Now Jordan. Six to shoot. Let's it go from 11. It's Hayes with the rebound. Hayes has got rebound number seven tonight to the paint. Good. Five for nine shooting so far. And Unseld is a problem inside now. I mean, he's really good at positioning himself close to the basket and then taking advantage of it. Now here's Rose. 16 points for him. Jordan with it. Hayes picks him up. And it's rejected. And they're able to recover. A difficult situation for Washington. They've only allowed two points so far in the second half. Puts it up from 15. Rodman with a rebound. You kind of wonder where his head's at. The shot selection hasn't been there. And of course, that one was just crazy. Here's Jordan. It doesn't go for him. And Washington the other way now. Pass to Butler. Here's Arenas. Who poked away. Slam dunk by Jordan. Outstanding finishing there by Jordan. Terrific at getting inside and powering the flush down. Pass to Butler. There's the three. Nails it from beyond the arc. Butler's got five points in the quarter. You're leaving him all alone? <laughs> Good luck. He's going to drill that every time. Rose finds Jordan. Here's Rodman. Back to Jordan. Shot clock at six. And he gets it to go. Jordan's got 24 points. Credit the plays they're calling for him. Getting him right now some good shots. Pass to Arenas. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Outside Butler. The 
deflected. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they've rebounded the ball tremendously well. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. Soft touch off the glass. Gilmore. Ten points for him. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. And, you know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. Rose with it. He's got 16. To the wing, right side. Here's Pippen. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Rose. Assisted by... Rose has got his fourth assist with that last one. Here's Arenas. Nine points in the game. Inside. Here's Hayes. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. From deep, Jordan connects from downtown. Jordan's got nine points now in the quarter. All right, guys, a breakdown here of the hustle stats for the Bulls. We've seen them make the extra effort defensively, rotating, closing out airspace, and sending shots back. They've repeatedly gotten out on the break tonight as well and scored a lot of baskets in transition. And the Bulls making a change here. Yeah, they're hoping to turn things around with this timeout. Yeah, you know, they had to do something, anything to stop this run. You can't just let it go on any longer. And Shamir gets it to go. One of the reasons they're behind is because we haven't seen enough of that. He needs to become a bigger part of the offense. Here's Theus. And he's going for the oop here. And stolen by Hayes. Pass to Arenas. And here's Beal. Looking to end this cold spell. Rebound by the Bulls. Here's Theus. Knocked loose. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Bulls will retain possession. A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. You know that block has him and his teammates all pumped up. That is what playoff basketball is all about. Here's Theus. Clock at six. Rebound Washington. Hayes has got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Second chance shot. Noah grabs the board. Here's Kukoc. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Pass to Theus. Outside Levine. Here's the three. That one no good. And Washington with possession. Here's Chenier. Driving to the basket. Lays it up and banks it in. And the defense no factor. Which is why he simply laid it in. Here's Theus. Outside Levine. To the middle. Here's Noah. And it's good. Yeah, Credit yeah. Levine with the assist. Seven points in the game. Tell you what, when Levine glides off the pick, I mean, you see the defensive attention he draws. Makes for an easy pass to the roller. Down low. Here's Beal. It's hauled in by the Bulls. You know, he looks a little off kilter to me this quarter. Still trying to find his rhythm. Here's Pippen. Hounded by Beal. Pippen, no good. To the paint. And then Beal with the dunk. 
Outstanding distribution there. I mean, what impressive passing ability. Pass to Theus. Into the lane. Shot from 12. That one falls. Washington calls timeout. Timeout on the floor. Washington timeout. Deciding to change it up. Coming onto the floor for the Bulls. And so it's Washington with it. Pass to Malone. Here's Chenier. Butler covering. Knocked away. Here's Jamison. Here's Chenier. Outside wall. No good on the triple. And here's Levine. Oh, and the That's jam Levine. by Levine. Well, we know Levine has the hops. That time showing off the creativity. And we've got to see that sensational mobile one block again. Oh, you could feel the playoff intensity in that block. He's playing some extra aggressive defense out there. Here's Chenier. Pass to Jamison. Here's Theus. Here's Levine for three. Sends it home That's from three-point land. Levine's got five now. Levine is such a really good shooter from deep. You can't allow him to be alone at the arc. Left side wall. Here's Chenier. Here's Malone. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. That one a little long. Pass to Kukoc. His first shot attempt. Can't get it to drop. And it's Washington the other way. Inside. And now the Bulls in transition. And he goes up strong with a one-handed jam. You know, Zach Levine is not just the scorer. He's really good at setting up his teammates, too. Here's Monroe. Back to Wall to end the run. It's rebounded by Jimmy Butler. So it's Chicago now. To the middle. Here's Noah. Good. And Butler Noah gets the assist. Noah. Nine points in the game. And their offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. Here's Monroe. He's Two covered minutes. by Levine. Two minutes remaining in the third quarter. Two minutes. Pass to Wall. Here's Malone. That one's good for two. The bounce pass right on the money. Great setup. And so here is Chicago. Levine passes to Butler. From 18 feet away. And good. Jimmy Got the friendly Butler. bounce off the right side of the rim. They're going old school out there now. Working the mid-range part of the floor. They keep pulling up and watching them go down. It's a really nice thing to see. Now here's Wall. He has six. The rebound by Kukoc. And unlike some other guys, missing a wide open look won't hurt his confidence at all. And here's Butler outside. Here's Chenier. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Wall. Bulls substitution. Fifty-nine seconds left in the third. Butler against Wall. The Bulls with another miss. He just couldn't finish the job that time. And too bad, because it was a nice look. And the big finish by Wall. How about terrific timing by Wall on that play. I mean, he's up in the air at exactly the right moment to throw it down. Here's Armstrong. Butler on the wing. Ooh, good work defensively by Butler. Here are the Wizards now with the ball. Five-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. 
Here's Monroe. Back to Wall. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Butler. From about 19. No luck on that one. You look at him, and he's a little hit and miss from there, even without a defender in his face. No guarantee. And so it's Chicago with an almost surefire victory here. Up 32 at the end of the quarter and dominating. Defense is setting the tone. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. And while we have a chance, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. And just a selfless decision from your two guard, showing his ability to get his teammates good looks. Yeah, and as a two guard, he's typically not a reluctant shooter. So it was really nice to see him orchestrating for a teammate instead. Happy to have you back with us for the Eastern Conference semifinals on 2K Sports. Outside love. Second chance effort, and it's good on the layup. <laughs> this guy has been wreaking havoc out there the last couple games. Well, he's done it again right there on the offensive glass. I mean, it's a great stretch that he's having here, and boy, I really admire his energy. And for Chicago, a nice shot by Butler. That's simply an outstanding play, working the size mismatch right at the rim. And it's the Bulls with the ball. Here's Armstrong. That one goes in. Some sick ball skills displayed right there. And he's not the guy you expect to pull that off. Fourth quarter of basketball. We're about a minute into it. And it's thrown down hard with both hands. He was gripping the rock on the way to the slam. No way he was going to get stripped on that one. Better safe than sorry, right? Here's Armstrong. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. That's his first person. DJ Armstrong, so effective. And I love the way he's effective. I mean, he's a clever combo guard who's very efficient. Stays very much within himself and how he plays the game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. gets them both and so it's Washington with it pass to Butler we've gone about a minute and a half into this fourth quarter and their physical dominance has been on display a 10 rebound advantage is a good indicator of how this game has gone here's Weber Here's the floater. It's rebounded by Jimmy Butler. Pass to Armstrong. We're about two minutes into the fourth here. Butler covering. Here's Armstrong. Six to shoot. Let's a floater go. And he comes up with a bucket. And he gives up some size inside, but makes a great adjustment on the finish. Yeah, you know, with that size difference, that's not an easy shot. I mean, I don't care how close to the rim he is. That's a tough shot. And out of bounds. The Bulls will take it. It's one thing to get outplayed. But when you're giving away possessions like this, it makes it even more tough. The Bulls making a switch here. We're in the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone by. Pass to Armstrong. 
Left side love. Baseline jumper. Rebound by the Wizards. Every player goes through this. When your shots aren't going down, it can ding your confidence. Boy, Weber doing a nice job of passing the ball. Seems to know whenever one of his guys is open. That's extra talent there. Pass to Armstrong. The three is up. And again, no good by Chicago. The Wizards on offense. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. I love this game plan. That's 10 points in a row from in close. If you can't stop it, here it comes. I'm right at you. A little over three and a half minutes in the books now in this fourth quarter. And there's the drive. Chalk up two there. Even with the score as it is, he just keeps coming at you. Well, he only plays one way, and that's um, full throttle, all day, all the time, cold-blooded and lethal. So it's Washington now. The Bulls making their last shot. Launches a three. Shot's blocked. Here's Rodman. Butler covering. Rodman's shot is good. And Rodman, a solid inside score. Picks his spots well and uses his body well, too. On the take. And that one is hammered home. And look at those moves in the post. And the smooth finish to go along with it. Just excellent work around the rim. Left his man lunging and reaching for air. That was something else right there. Here's Rodman. Shoots. Another shot. Oh, that's good. Oh, that kind of energy and hustle on the glass usually produces good results. Pass to Butler. The shot won't fall. So the Bulls will take it the other way. Weber pulls it in. Well, I don't think he's performing up to his own expectations, but they still find themselves out in front. To the left wing. And it's good. Two points. Highly efficient close to the rim is Chris Weber. I mean, he's got a really nice, solid, creative post game. Pass to Armstrong. Here he goes. Here's Love. That's basket number six in eight tries. Wow, he really fires up his team with his ability to extend possessions. Now here's Butler. The three. The shot that time not on target. If this quarter is any indication, he's not going to be the guy to turn this game around in their favor. To the inside. Nice dish, and the layup goes down. No need to risk a shot from range when you can take it inside. Got a piece of it. Fast break, here we go. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Setting each other up beautifully. I love it. Eight of their last ten points coming off assists. You know nothing makes a coach happier than selflessness on the basketball court. Here's Armstrong. And again, no good by Chicago. Pass to Weber. The shot comes out. Love with the defensive effort. To the right side. Here's Rodman. Butler covering. Shot clock at six. Here's Armstrong. Let's go with a three. That one is off. 
It's tough to get open in this league, and when you do, it hurts not to capitalize. Outside Butler. That shot missing. Now Chicago takes it the other way. This has been a tough quarter for him and a challenging game for this team. And just Chris, wasn't able to set up in time. Yeah, and as quick foul. as players are at this Second level, in this day and age, I mean, you've got to be goals. perfect in your anticipation to draw the charge. So it's Chicago now. Ooh, lots of contact on the shot. So two free throws will follow that one. Foul. Third team foul. At the line for the Bulls, Tony Kukoc. At the line for two. Shoot two. And he drops the first. Both shots good from the strike. If they keep hitting free throws at this clip, it'll help them seal the deal. Yeah, they've not missed a single foul shot this half. And that's taking care of business, fellas. With the floater, he gets it in there. He had no answer defensively inside. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point-blank range. Can't happen. Here's Theus. Down low. Ooh, he's locked in. Drains his fifth shot in his many attempts. Great timing and coordination. Lays it in coming off that pick. Here's Chenier. Chicago foul. Joachim Noah. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Bulls on D. Pass to Jamison. That's tipped. Just five to shoot. Beyond the arc. Sinks it from distance. Can't blame the deficit on him. He's been scoring at will this period. Now here's Levine. Here's Kukoc. The Bulls need to get off a shot. That one drops for him. He's a big reason why they have the lead right now. He's made all of his field goal attempts thus far and remains hot from the floor. Driving inside. It goes again. His sixth basket in seven tries. Here's Theus. Outside love. Pass to Levine. It's the trifecta. Levine. Levine has always had a nice feel for his catch-and-shoot jump shots, and his teammates encourage him to shoot it every time he gets an opportunity to. Washington gets it back. A minute 42 left in the fourth. Four on the clock. To the middle. Here's Jamison. And they converted last on attempt number three. Good passing to set that up. Teamwork on display. Outside Levine. Here's Kukoc. Inside. And Levine throws it down. Boy, if you let Levine get inside like that with the head of steam, you deserve to get punched on. One eleven left in the fourth quarter here. Drive 
goes to the hoop. Hey, how's that for an answer? Right back with the dunk. With two hands on the rock, he powers it through. Totally in control, protecting the ball the whole way. And he should be. I mean, remove all doubt. Get it down hard and simply. Here's Theus. Here's Noah. Back to Levine. Tries it from the top of the key. Offensive rebound. Love can't get the put back. And Washington with possession. We've got a nine second difference between the shot clock and game clock. It's good on the put back. Great anticipation off the missed shot. Oh, his timing was impeccable. And if you're the defensive team, it just kills you to give up baskets like that. Here's Kukoc. Pass to Noah. Here's Kukoc. And he converts the layup. They allowed him to establish deep position. You just can't do that. Exactly. I mean, once he's got the ball in that area, the battle's already lost. So no problem for Chicago as they get the win. And it always takes a lot of pressure off the team when they get the win in game one. It's the most important game of the series. They've shown they know how to beat this team. The formula's in place. Now they just have to stick with it for the next few games. Time for us to say so long. We hope you've enjoyed our coverage during the second round of the NBA Eastern Conference playoffs. For Ali LaForce, Clark Kellogg, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson saying thank you for watching the NBA brought to you by 2K Sports. We'll see you next time.